Hello everyone, welcome to Patshala. Now in this video, we will see what are the problems with one hot encoding and how to remove those problems with the help of word embedding. So if we want to represent any word in one hot encoding format, then first of all, we have to build vocabulary. This vocabulary includes all the unique words from the given corpus. So generally, suppose if we have 10,000 words in given corpus which are unique, then vocabulary size will be 10,000. To represent every word, for example, happy, we have to form a vector. And every vector will have a size of 10,000. We have to provide one at the index where that word is present in the vocabulary rest of the elements will be zero there are few problems with one hot encoding first is this is binary vector only zeros and ones are present inside the vector so if we are performing any vector operation like multiplication we are going to get zero so it is of no use second it is sparse if we observe this vector most of the elements are zero only one is present at one particular index so it is sparse in nature also the dimension of this vector is very high so it is bulky in size also these vectors are hand coded so we have identified at which index that word is present and accordingly we have added one in the vector rest of the elements are zero so there is no any meaning associated we have hand coded those vectors so somehow we have to remove all these drawbacks so for this we have word embedding so with the help of word embedding we are trying to build a low dimensional vector which will include floating numbers instead of zeros and one which will have meaning and also these will be learned from the data on its own we are not going to generate these vectors by handcrafting so there are two different ways to form the word embedding first way is using pre-trained model for example word to wake so this word to wake is popular pre-trained model where we have pair of words at its vector of size 300 so this word to wake popular model is trained on large corpus of google news and accordingly it has formed a pair of words and the vector of size 300 the second way is we can identify our own word embeddings from the data given for the task for example if suppose we want to perform sentiment analysis where we have to identify whether given sentence is positive or negative we have large corpus and on that corpus we are going to train our model to learn the embeddings okay so these are the two different and main tasks for learning the word embedding so in this lecture we are going to concentrate on pretend word embedding where we are going to use word to wake model word to wake model uses two flavors first is continuous bag of vector model and second is skip gram model so continuous bag of word vector model is considering the words which are surrounding to it suppose i have eight dash 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 yesterday i want to identify blank word so 
in order to identify this word we are going to provide the context to it context is i have ate and yesterday so four different words will be taken as an input and it is combined with one hidden layer and at the last we have all the words from the vocabulary and after performing the weight adjustment our simple neural network will try to identify which word fits over there by performing hierarchical softmax activations at the output layer so context words are given and based on the context word we are just identifying which words appropriately fits over here in this activity weights will be adjusted over here so if we want to form a word vector of size 300 hidden layer will include 300 nodes okay and uh, output is one hot encoding for each word suppose there are 10,000 words then the matrix available over here represented by w2 will be of size 10,000 comma 300 so 10,000 rows will be there and 300 columns will be there so these values will include the floating numbers for each word present in the vocabulary so generally these are the embeddings learned by our model now this particular embedding will have different feature that we will study afterwards so likewise we have also the second flavor of what to make is skip gram model okay so let's see what is mean by skip gram model unlike continuous bag of word vector in skip gram model we are going to provide only one word as input and we are expecting contest words for the given input word for example we will provide one word as banana and we are expecting it will identify the context word like i have ate a banana so the contest words are i have ate again same procedure is there this is again a simple neural network where hidden layer will include 300 neurons and rest of the output layer will include all the one hot encoding for 10,000 words so if 10,000 words are in the vocabulary every word will be present in the output layer and corresponding words will be identified by uh, the script gram model corresponding context word will be identified by the skip gram model so again the weights present in this section will have size of 10,000 comma 300 so 10,000 rows will be there 300 columns will be there so again this is real valued matrix which uh, is just representing word embedding now these word embeddings have different features like they we can perform mathematical operation or on it by performing addition multiplication we can also check out the similarities present in the words so for example if we are giving word as a good and if we want to identify all the words close to it then we will get bad we will get excellent so these words are very close to good according to the google news corpus so we can identify all this so let's see how to load that word to vec model for identifying vectors for the each word trained on the large google news corpus 
in Google Colab. So let's see. Okay, so we are going to use word vectors which have file name as Google News dash vectors dash negative 300 dot bin. So this is the file where we will find mapping between word and vector. So this file almost contains 3 billion which are running on Google News corpus. Every word is represented by a vector of size 300. Every word is represented by a vector of size 300. Now I have placed this file in Google Drive. So let's attach that Google Drive over Google Colab. So for that we import drive from google.colab and we are going to mount that drive at this path. Slash contains slash drive. In our chain we have used OS os.chdir provides a convenient way to change the current working directory we have printed the path for current working directory then we are going to use gensim library so gensim library is basically used for natural language processing tasks it is very well known and uh, and easy to use for model building and building word embedding so let's use that library for loading our word to vec model so gensim.models.key vectors is the model which is going to include load underscore word to vec underscore format method this particular method helps us to load the words and vector in paired format so if we are providing word we will get vector okay so we have to pass the path for the file and uh, binary status is equal to true now how to identify word embeddings associated with one particular word? for that we can use w v property for that we can so we have received model in word embeddings so word embeddings dot vw property and inside rectangle bracket you have to specify name of that word if we hit end gate array of size 300 with real valued vector as for our expectation if we are printing the shape we are getting 300 sized vector now we also perform operations like which words closer to the good okay so whenever we are considering uh, word to vec embedding so these word to vec embeddings are going to consider the relationship between context word semantics will be identified by considering cosine distances between the two words now if this is the space we are going to work with 300 dimensional vector so it is very difficult to visualize 300 dimension vector as a human being we can visualize 1d data 2d data and 3d data beyond that it is not possible so it need to be converted into 2d data or 3d data by using some of the techniques like tsne technique so for example suppose we have converted that to two dimensional data it is going to identify the cosine distance between the two words based on its similarity for example good word is present like this so this good word will be close to the other words like great so this great word is correlated with the good words or cosine angle between these two vectors will be very small since these words are correlated with each other in large corpus okay so which data we are feeding to our model that is important on the basis of that corpus it is trying to identify which words are correlated with each other and which words are not correlated with each other if 
we are talking about good and banana so it will be far away from the original good vector position so these words are not correlated with each other in the given corpus so the angle between these two will be very high compared to the angle between good and great so it is trying to learn the correlationship between uh, the words it is identifying cosine angles and based on that similarity will be identified so we are going to identify which are the words close to the good so we are getting list great bad terrific decent nice excellent and so on so these words are very much closer to the good now we can also perform the mathematical operations on the vectors for example suppose we want to perform the operation on king minus man plus woman so we are expecting to have queen as an output so if we are subtracting man vector from king and if we are adding woman inside it we should get queen okay uh, so that can be checked out with again most similar method for the word embedding inside that we have to pass positive equal to king comma woman we are going to add these two vector and we are subtracting men so that will be passed as a negative parameter okay if we perform this operations on the vector we are going to get queen this is very much popular example for the word embedding so this is all about word embedding so in this video we have seen how to word pretend word to wake model for identifying word embeddings for the words and how to identify the similarity of words thank you for watching the video if you like the video please like and subscribe the channel thank you